We are back, and this, ladies and gents, is Loki. Um, a small test capsule orbiter, whatever you want to call it. This one has communication with it for remote control. This one has a docking station for resupplying. Uh, two uh, solar panels for communication, for light, and for uh, uh, life support. Then uh, life support also contains um, electricity, and I think they have uh, two hours without electricity. So they they will live for two hours without electricity, five minutes without oxygen, three days without water, and thirty days without food. So food is not the problem, right? But uh, water, uh, uh, oxygen. And electricity is the most uh, most uh, s important resources. So every capsule comes with uh, three water, three food, and three oxygen supplies. Um, so um, we can check we can check them the containers. I don't know where they are. Maybe here. Oh, oh. Yeah, here we have the hex cans. Large, normal, small, water large, normal, small, food large, normal, small, and kind of a mixed thing, uh, large and normal and small. And these food containers are uh, the round ones, these are radial attached ones, like on the outside, and we want them mixed one in small just for the round so that we don't have any problems uh, when we are launching this one up because we have already this uh, communication standing on one side so maybe we have a problem um, going up uh, because we the center of uh, weight is not in the middle right so they look it looks pretty centered yeah, we will test it out. So, what we want to know is how long can we stay with uh, the supplies in orbit? So we will launch this and try it. Um, this spacecraft is designed uh, to have about uh, 5000 uh, Delta V just for um, reaching orbit. It's um, I think about uh, 500 to 400 delta V um, more than we really need to get an orbit. Um, then we have uh, 2,000 um, delta V left for doing stuff up there. So uh, we probably have to ditch um, the ascent stage uh, with fuel in it when we are reaching orbit. So let's see, fucking LS is life support. Ah, uh, look at this! Remaining electricity, remaining food, remaining water, oxygen. 30, no, 80, 83 days. Almost. 83 days. And we have 83 packages or tons on board. On board. So, <laughs> every day, or every 24 hours, then a Kerbal day is only 6 hours. Every 24 hours, a Kerbal will need one package or one ton. Ah, it's not tons, it's packages, I think. One package of oxygen, water, or food. And electricity shouldn't be the problem, but uh, with 1050 and the battery, we have about 7 hours life support. So, uh,. We don't have to go in orbit, right? If these uh, things are correct here. Well, what is the these waste things for? We have CO2, for cooling stuff, uh, dioxide, uh, waste, waste food, I think, and waste water. What happens when these three? Uh, packages are full. We have 80, 83 and only 3 for the waste. 
but I haven't saw any um, any waste containers. We should try it. Make them full and see what happens. So, uh, throttle up. Turn the SAS on. Ready for launch. Go. Oh, we got to uh, put on those cones. I hope for will uh, be patient with us. <laughs> yeah. Nose cones, fairings and stuff, you only need f when you have uh, Theron Aerospace installed. So, uh, when you're not playing with Theron, you don't need to uh, attach fairings or nose cones, because they do nothing. Just looking good. Uh, okay, I see you ready. We are going up a little bit too much to the north. But that's uh, not the problem. Should be better. We are going up. And when our boosters are half gone right now, I think uh, about 11,000 meters to do our gravity turn. I think it's this year endless. Seems to be, huh? Oh, interesting. So, up we go. 14 already. Let's see, no stall and detector. This is kind of harder to control. Interesting, eh? So when you're looking for a little challenge, or more challenging uh, launching stuff, or flying stuff, you should try Ferrum Airspace. It's fun. So this looking good. Do I have a flight computer on this one? No. Ditched our boosters. Goodbye. And we are. The cigar is flying up. Perhaps almost 100, so kill the engines now, and then we will warp forward and do do our burn, reach the highest point of our uh, apoaps, or the highest point, the apoaps. In one minute and four seconds. Bing. Oh, probably I should uh, fire the engines at 30 seconds. Now. Bring this on the blue cross. Let it go. Burn it all down. And we haven't used any water, oxygen, or food around. <laughs> yeah, one interesting fact about uh, um, the life support, TAC life support, is when a vessel is not active, so inactive. <laughs> Um, it will cont uh, it will using resources. Uh, when you use Iron Cross and leave a, a vessel B, so it's inactive, it does not use any resources. And I think when you're using like kind of hard mode mods, um, and you're working with uh, oxygen, water, and food, then do it the right way, right? So, uh, also inactive vessels should use it. It's the same um, Kerbal Space Program. Let your probes use electricity when they're not active. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, we are up. Orbit. Too easy, you think, huh? That was easy. And uh, now we have to find a way to warp forward about three days, well not days, days are six hours, uh, 
three times 24 hours. So um, let's go back to the space center, let him be in the orbit. So he's inactive now, but he will use the Rosa resources. And then we will just uh, push out another spacecraft on the launch pad and warp the hell. Come on. Do -do 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 -do. Whopping. So six hours gone, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six, forty-two, forty-eight, fifty-four, sixty hours, sixty-six, seventy-two, seventy-eight, eighty-four, ninety, 96, 102, 108, 100 and whatever. Stop now. Let's see, what's about Loki? There you are, buddy! 78 days, so. You should have used 83. Five packages. So, using five packages, producing five packages of waste, right? You have three in here. So, what happened with the other. the other three. Uh, two packages? Hmm. Oh, I should probably send the panels. Yeah, that's a good question. He is still alive. He's looking good, Bill. Looking good. Toggle communicants. And near field communication. So he's still alive. So producing more waste oh, than you have containers for doesn't kill your. Cobalt, right. But what are these uh, waste containers for? Let's uh, go back to the VAB and check again if there are waste containers. Oh, night time, sweet. There we are. Oxygen, 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 water, 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 food, food, food. Mixed, mixed, mixed. No waste tax cans. Food container, food, food. L mixed, mixed, mixed. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Water, water, water. So there's no waste container. Okay, guys, I think I have to check out the forums to see what are these waste things are for. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it would be good to find out on Dune <laughs> that we're dying because of having too much waste on board. At board or whatever. So, uh, I will find out this. So, this one is a uh, short one. Uh, but the next time, I think uh, we just can calculate how much a resource we will need for Duna, for transition, um, staying, duration of stay, and uh, our transition back. So, let's see. Yeah, I think that can be due next time. So, guys, see you next time. Bye-bye.